other influences? Well, we've, we've just finished the season introducing a new clone, yeah. so we're very interested in unpacking Rachel and letting yeah. her run with Rachel. Yeah, it was like going to be like super fun and villainous and sexy. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, but you know, we do love our. We do. It's a clone show, so we do want to introduce more clones. We just don't want to overdo it. It was definitely when we saw how she was inhabiting and delineating the characters. Um, we knew we could we could do the things that we we were dying to do with the storylines, um, and then. Yeah, but what, but we've sat, we've sat. Her, her, and uh, we've been out a, a bunch of times just to talk about characters, like what you know, like what should we do in 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 upcoming seasons? What and just to, it's it's just part of the creative process, right? And we consider her a collaborator, and um, and it's fun to sort of hear her ideas because she's got great ideas, right? She's really good at like coming up with stuff and. Um, when she got the part, we didn't have a Helena, so she really <laughs> inhabited that little monster. Um, we hadn't auditioned her as Helena. We'd only auditioned her as Sarah, Sarah playing Beth. We auditioned her as Allison, and we auditioned her as Cosima. But we, we didn't. Helena was really one that a, a character that we created while we were midstream in the middle of shooting, and uh, and, and, uh, and as well as Rachel, we we wandered several episodes ahead, and we worked together on the character, who, who the character might be, and the, and that character we barely just scratched the surface of. So I think we're 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 excited about season two and being able to kind of like really figure, do way more with her and make her. Give her the same kind of life that we gave to Allison and to Helena. You know, make her way more interesting than she. You know, like at the end of season ten, she's just kind of, she sort of just seems like a bad guy. We we have way bigger plans for, for Rachel than just a bad guy. We don't um, we don't give our actors tons of story about what's coming because we want we want that that uh, natural surprise and that discovery that the audience is having want that coming out of the characters but there is some things that we give to Tat and one of them was fairly early uh, we told her that we told her about the twin sister thing and she without telegraphing it absorbed that into her performance and gave us some really cool stuff really cool stuff yeah the clone show but um, we sure love Maria Doyle Kennedy yeah um, and We've known that that character was a sleeper all through season one. So yeah, she's definitely we know. We always figured that Mrs. S had some skeletons in her closet and, and had some secrets to hide. And and, uh, and as far as Kira, Kira's always the, the the thrust of season one was really to kind of to not just reunite Sarah with her daughter, but to show the audience that her, there's something different about Kira, that she's special in some other way. And not to hit people over the head with that, no, um, other than, you know, obviously running her over with the car. I guess that's hitting her more. <laughs> it's a little bit of hitting her more. But not do it in a, like, a crazy sci-fi way. You know what I mean? To kind of, like, be, you know, to, to be a little bit, like, you know, like, look at it a little bit from over here and, and not, not, not telegraph too much of where we want to go with with, uh, with Kira. But we know that she's special, and we know that there is something special about the girl, and, and that's certainly something that we want to explore in season two also. I think that I think that the backstory of, of Europe with Mrs. S and, and where the girls kind of, what happened back in the early days uh, is definitely part of what we want to do with season two. Not to let it get overwhelmed with backstory and mythology, but, but as a way to kind of answer th things that we need, like, we need answers to certain questions before we can move forward. Uh, it's true, it's kind of, we know what we want to answer in season two, as a way to set up what we our, our, our plan is for season three. So it's kind of, and then season three has its own answers. You know, I think it, the, 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 big, the big question, obviously, is a kind of a, you know. A, Who am I? That's a, that's a season, that's a series question, right? And that's sort of something that, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting to you know, see how many, 